Hey guys, so we're going to jump straight into this video today. Sorry, it's kind of a voiceover. I usually do talk throughs, but today it is a voiceover. And I'm just starting off by priming my eyes because we are doing eyes first today. Since we're using that glitter, I find that it's better to go in with the eyes first. So I'm just priming with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer <laughs> and use my Beauty Blender. And then I'm going to go in with Peach Smoothie from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to use this as my transition shade. And I'm using this on a Morphe R38 brush. And as you can see, I'm just using like circular motions to go from all the way to the inner corner to the outer corner to blend this in just for our transition shade. And then I'm just going to go in with Wait For It from ColourPop. It's just like a peachy shade. And I really took my time to build this color up because I really wanted the peachiness to show through because we are going to go in with the rose gold glitter from Stila. So I kind of wanted that peachy rose gold vibe going on. And so I'm just using on the same brush that we were using before. And then I'm going to go in with the Morphe 350 palette because they have some more peachy orangey shades as well. So I'm going to pick up some of those or just that one I showed you and take the same brush and go over the same area that we just used white for it. So just build the peachiness again, and yeah. And then going back into the Morphe 350 again, I'm going to take that like orangey reddish brown shade. It's like the second one on the bottom. And I'm just going to take this on an Anastasia blending brush. It came in one of her little palettes, I believe. I think it was the Modern Renaissance. But anyways, I'm taking it to the blending side, and you'll see I'm like focusing more on the outer crease of my eye, just to really smoke it out and elongate the eye a little bit. And you can be messy with this part because we're gonna go back and clean it all up. But yeah, I really want to make sure the outer V of my eye was pretty dark and smoky. Um, and then I'm gonna take Morocco, and that's from Anastasia as well. And I'm just gonna go over the same areas that I just put that shade from the More 50 Bravo palette. Um, just to really smoke it out, like I said, because um, we're going to use the glitter and I really want it to have a nice gradient into the little smoky eye that we're doing. And yeah, and then we're going to take Fudge, and this is also from Anastasia, and it's just a really deep, nice brown, you know. Um, I really love this color, and I'm taking this on a Smashbox blending brush that came in one of their palettes. Um, but yeah, so I just really want to smoke this out and keep it more of like a, the peachy brown shades. I think it's going to look really good with the glitter. I like more grungy looks anyways. And then we're going to go in with Tarte Shape Tape and this Morphe brush. Um, I'll have the number, the exact number of it um, down below. But this is like perfect for curving, carving, curving, <laughs> carving out the crease um, because we're going to go in with the glitter and I find that it's better to have a base with these glitters after using them for a while. Um, so this is the Stila Rose Gold Glitter. Um, I have quite a few but um, I've never used a rose gold one and I just picked it up couple weeks ago so I wanted to use it today in tutorial and I just really love this look come out more like grungy-ish and I really like those kind of looks so after going over the where we put the concealer I'm just gonna um, blend it in with my finger um, I find that it kind of softens that line and then we're just gonna take that Smashbox brush again and just with no product on it and just um, blend it more so there's not that really harsh edge so then I take the other end of the Anastasia brush and I'm just going to really define where we put the glitter um, so that it had that fudge shade on it. And then we're going to go in with the Morphe palette again and just highlight the brow bone. Now moving on the face for now, we'll go back to the eyes later, but I'm just going to take the Milani Prime Light Primer, and I like to use this with a brush, um, I've been using my primers with a brush lately, and that was the Morphe G6. And for foundation today, I'm using two different ones, I'm using the Custom Cover Drops from Cover FX, and then the L'Oreal Pro Glow Foundation. I just wanted a little bit more coverage, like that foundation has good coverage, but I just wanted a little bit full coverage since we are using the glitter and everything, I want it to be like a full glam look. So I'm just blending that in with my L'Oreal Pro Foundation Sponge. Um, I've talked about it before, but it's really comparable to the Beauty Blender, so it's definitely taken the place of mine. And then I'm just going to highlight with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Fair. I'm pretty sure it's in Fair. And yeah, just blend that in again with the same sponge. 
And then we're going to set all of that with my RCMA powder. And I'm just taking the same sponge again because I find that it really does make a difference if you use a damp sponge or a dry sponge. When I use a dry sponge, since I do have dry skin, it looks awful. But if I go in with the same sponge I've been using that's damp, um, it makes it look a lot nicer and makes it more look airbrushed. So then for my brows, I use the Anastasia Medium Brown Dip Brow Pomade. And I know I usually don't show my brows, but I decided to leave that part in for today because I will be doing a video soon on how I fill my brows. If that's helpful for any of you guys, just let me know down below if you want to see that. So I just used the Anastasia brush too that she makes for it. it. And then, sorry, and then I take my Morphe, I don't remember the number of this either, I'll have a link down below, but I just brush away powder with this brush. And I just did a whole video on my favorite Morphe brushes if you guys want to check that out. And then I'm going to use Laguna, my favorite bronzer at the moment. But I've been using it as contour and I actually like it. Um, but I'll take this on a Morphe uh, M432 brush. And then going back to my Essence Matte Bronzing Powder. This is like 2 or $3 and it's bomb. If you haven't tried this yet, I highly suggest you go to Ulta and pick it up. And I'm just using another Morphe brush. But I think this is the 527. But again, I'll have all of them linked down below because I don't remember every single one on top of my head. But yeah, so I'm just blending that in with that brush. I really like this brush right now. And then I'm going to go in with my Milani uh, Luminoso blush because it kind of has that peachy, corally vibe. And I wanted to incorporate that peachy look back into the face. So I'm just taking this on a Morphe E4. And then going back to the eyes, I'm taking Wait For It again from ColourPop. And this is a Morphe M169, I believe. It's my favorite smudging brush, pencil brush. And then I take Morocco as well. And I didn't show it, but I also add fudge from Anastasia again on the very like outer edge. And then we're taking this um, pigment from Makeup Forever in shade 13 just to highlight the inner corner. And I think I put a little bit on my brow bone as well. And then I just found this um, highlighter. It's the LA Girl 50 Watt Strobing Powder. Um, we just got them at my Ulta, uh, the LA Girl stuff. So I was excited to try it out. And I actually really like it. It's really good for a drugstore. I think it was like, I'm, I'm, they're so inexpensive, like 3 or $4. I don't know. I'll have everything linked down below. And then I'm just going to set the whole face before we move on to like eyes and stuff with the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. And then that is what it looks like with my lashes and liner on and everything like that. So we're going to line the lips with this Makeup Forever Lip Kit. Um, I think it's in Rain. And it's really smooth. It's very comparable to the Kylie Lip Kits, I have to say. And so I'm just going to use the um, liquid lipstick as well. Um, again, it's in the shade Rain. So it's just like this peachy, pinky color. And then I'm going to put some lip gloss on. And it is the Makeup Revolution Salvation um, lip gloss. Again, I'll have everything down below. But I just kind of wanted to um, sheer it out a little bit because it was kind of too pink. So I added some little nude gloss on top. And this is the clear look, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I really love playing with these glitters. These Stila glitters are really awesome. So today I played with the Rose Gold Retro, as you saw. And then I have two others, but I'm looking to get some more because they just come out with more colors, actually. Um, they just launched like this week, some more colors. So I definitely want to get some more colorful ones, like maybe like a pink and like a blue and whatever else they have. I'm going to look on there and see what else I can get. But yeah, I've been really loving these glitters. I think that they're awesome and they're so easy to work with. And yeah, I just really like creating looks with these. So if you want to see more looks with these glitters, then let me down down below. And yeah, if you want to see more videos from me, then don't forget to subscribe. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.